for your final. It's a £10,000 game. Can Christoph Ratajski pick up a seventh PDC title? He has never lost a senior final in PDC darts. Or can go in price. 25. Christoph is on the bill and will throw first. And continue his fabulous year. Well, it is a fantastic final in prospect here in Dublin. The precursor to the World Grand Prix. These couple of pro tour events 137 we have a couple of players who have been at the top of their game for the majority of 2019 in gerwin price and christopher tyshia and there are people 58 that say that these pro tours can lack a little bit in terms of drama certainly don't lack in quality but i tell you what this pair will not mind they will provide an they'll be aggressive they'll be loud down there and we could see this pair kind of play a floor final as if it is a stage final. 95. Well, you would think that plays into Gerwin Price's hands because when they meet on the stage, typically Gerwin Price wins. In fact, he's done so three times this year. Twice on the Euro Tour, once at the UK 100. Open. Some convincing wins in there as well. 10-3 at the UK Open, 6-1 in the Dutch Darts Masters. There was a 6-4 in Germany as well. But Ratajski did, of course, famously beat him at the Players' Championship Finals in a game that had plenty of needle and both men averaging about 105. 57. Ratajski. 25. Has just been given a little bit more breathing space by that mess of a visit from Gerwin Price. 32. As it turned out, he needed that little bit of extra space. 59. Tops it is then. Double 10. 20. Wow. Three more misses from the Polish Eagle. The Iceman can strike. Needs treble 18, followed by the Bullseye. 92. I want him to hit it just so we could be quiet and hear what he did. 22. Will he be silent? Game shot. He is, as Ratajski finds double five, a cagey opening leg. Ratajski eventually stumbling over the line in it. 140. Well, they have both had their scares today. Gerwin Price has just come through a real battle with Ryan Joyce, but the big, big scare came against Simon Whitlock, where he survived three match darts. But still produced a moment of brilliance to get himself out of jail, not to face any more match darts, a 144 checkout. That may prove to be even more important in about, what, 15, 20 minutes' time. 99. There we do have the couple of players that have won the last couple of stage titles in the PDC, the last two European Tour events. Gerwin Price retaining his International Darts Open title in Risa. Taishki winning on the rock, the Gibraltar Darts Trophy last Sunday. 120. Taishki looking actually for the second time in his career to make it back-to-back -back titles. Rescue act here for Gerwin Price can be completed on double 16. Game shot. Oh. Sometimes you think if people have come through tough games, might take something out 99. of them. But with Gerwin Price, you just think, well, it's more fuel for the fire, really. He's fired up. It's often associated with his 96. best stuff. We've seen Gerwin produce massive averages when he's not been shouting and roaring, but sometimes it, it does seem to be the thing that gets him going. Yeah, he didn't go through a little bit of a spell where he was unsure where to go after that punishment for antics at the Grand Slam of Darts, a tournament that saw him win his first major title. But he quickly realised that 
you know, I can't afford to change because I play my best darts when I am that aggressive, animated character on the hockey. Oh, just wants to play his normal game, and his 57. normal game we have seen over the last two years is world class. Absolutely world class. Be yourself. The best piece of advice you can ever offer anyone. 133. I mean, you could With, probably yeah. tone it down oh, a little you bit. You beat me to that one, though. Fair play. Rotowski could rattle in his third 180 of the day. Yes, he's only hit three. Well, he hasn't. He's only hit two because he's not even going 136. for the maximum. Well, that's why he's only hit two. Another. No, that leaves tops. Oh, how about that, Gerwin Price? Fabulous stuff. Bullseye, 42 tops. 132 checkout. And the Iceman is certainly firing now. I like that shot from Gerwin Price. He was not seduced by the temptation to go for another bullseye there. Smart shot, really. Often you see players determined to go for the ball, even when they've kind of blocked it with a dart in the bed. In fact, Price did have a bit of space to work with there. 97. But he's followed that 132 with his 21st 180, just to contrast the difference in maximum hitting between the pair. 55. Yeah, there are a number of players today who have hit more maximums than Christoph Ritaisky, who went out in round one. <laughs> But it does not matter. He has so many 174s, 171s, things like that, 177s. 100. Tell you what, you're going to see a lot more of Christoph Ratajski in big TV tournaments. I think he's going to do some damage in them. Maybe he'll do some damage here in the City West this week at the World Grand Prix. But there's some money to be made on Christoph Ratajski under the 180s market. Now, well, the pair of them have got very tough openers at the Grand Prix, haven't they? But what about confidence this is going into it, especially when you consider that their opponents both departed early. Hang about. He's going to take out 1-3-2 in consecutive legs in different ways. Oh, very nearly. Well, it would have been something he'll return for the 12 that he's left after 12. 100. By and large, when Price makes a final, he turns it on. Double three. Confused there. Six. Yeah, but Ratajski, well, that good job he doesn't throw darts with his left hand because he's just left it dead. 52. Double three. Come on. Game shot. We have a little bit of daylight that's opened up here. Yeah, by and large, Price, when he makes a final, he turns it on. And this year, we've seen him average 109, 105. He's been unstoppable 100. at times. His Grand Slam final performance, for all the controversy, there was some excellent stuff. He played better than Gary Anderson. But he did 99. kind of collapse against Jose de Sousa, didn't he? In one of his recent, his most recent Players' Championship final. I'm going to ask you a, 59. a question now, Dan. If the season was stopping now and this run of TV event was the, the start of a new season and you had to nominate a player 100. of the year in 2019, who would it be? Because this pair had got to be in contention. They would certainly be in contention. You cannot win those number of titles and not be. But James 100. Wade would be up there. Michael Van Gerwen would obviously be up there. There's been a lot of talk about MVG of late. Looking vulnerable. But he still won more titles than anybody else. 174. I think what we're seeing, as Gerwin Price produces another fabulous scoring visit, is that there are more players potent who can potentially win big titles, Euro Tours or major ones, because 100. they've got these levels of performance in them. Still a chance. Treble 20. Denied a dart at the ball. 56. The one three two. The big shot from Price earlier on. Ratajski looking at one four two. He's not going to take it out. Derwin Price could move three clear. Got the next best prize, Ratajski. One hundred and ten. Leaves himself on double sixteen, but Price trouble sixteen for double twelve. That bit is done. Double six again. And there it is. 4-1.
four legs on the spin. Two of them obviously breaks of throw. And Christoph Ratajski, his perfect record in senior PDC finals, is under severe threat from a rampant going price. 60. He is bossing it, bullying his opponent so far in this final Gerwin Price. Strutting around 100. with an air of confidence that he would love to take into the World Grand Prix. He does meet Dave Chisnell in the first round. Chisnell was beaten in the first round in today's tournament. Glenn Durant, who meets Christopher Tajki, knocked out in round two. Would be 137. Just like... Chizzy and does it to meet in the final tomorrow, wouldn't it? And then this narrative that we're creating just swings completely the other way. But that is exactly what you were talking about 59. a few moments ago. There's just a, a great spread of talent in the PDC and many, many players capable of winning not just these titles, but the big ones as well. Well, and, and how much of that is down to the European tour with players learning to play on big stages in front of big crowds and bring their floor game into those matches. It is very possible that Gerwin Price would not be the major champion here were it not for the European Tour. It's very possible that Christopher... In fact, it's definite that Christopher Tyson, he wouldn't even be playing PDC darts were not for the Euro Tour. 14 segment. Now the bullseye for Christoph. Not 99. quite. Another step towards the title. He's left himself 48. We'll look at eight. And now the 40. 62. Well, he had a little look at Ratajski there. Well, did he hear something? Did he think he heard something? Double eight. Big dart. Nine. The only weakness we've seen from Christoph Ratajski this last fortnight has been double 16 and double eight. And it's usually such a strength for him. Double 10 for Gerwin Price. 20. Eludes him. Well then, the misses unpunished and the break chance represented to Ratajski. Chasing doubles around the board though. And well. again, he cannot find the finish. Gerwin Price passed shot. the halfway stage in this final and could be cruising towards a victory and you mentioned that he's usually very very good in finals he might perhaps have the bit between his teeth because he was substandard in his last floor final against Jose de Souza when he was beaten 8-1 by Portugal's premier player well the Celsa just looked to break his spirit didn't he and he just looked like he had nothing left to give Gerwin Price looks like he wants to dish out similar treatment to somebody else 134. And I think he will know that this man is a potential rival. Well, he is a rival in potentially some big, big tournaments coming up. And this would be a big psychological blow to be the first person to beat Christoph Ratajski in a senior PDC final. He did lose one on the challenge tour to Super Ted Evans. 96. But that's it. This would be superb timing. 139. Price. Even 139 piles of pressure on this. It's not going to go. Gerwin Price cruising. 57. Cruising towards an 8th PDC title right now. Single 17. Leaves double top. Game and shot. this time it is found a 12 data for Gerwin Price to break throw once more. And surely from this position, with six consecutive legs won by the Iceman, even the Polish Eagle and his incredible winning run with his perfect 59. record in senior PDC finals, even he cannot turn it around from here. Can he? 137. Forty-five. Such is the level of consistency and high quality performance on the Pro Tour this year. 96. This pair were actually seeded second and fourth. 
before this tournament started. Ian White, the number one seed, was actually beaten in the first round. 50 we may be seeing Michael Van Gerwen tomorrow. For those of you who are planning on tuning in, he is in the original entries list. Well, it kind of bears out the point we're making about the strength in depth of talent there, how there's world-class performers. Paul Nicholson always used to call these tournaments the hardest pro tours to win because all the big names are here ahead of the World Grand Prix. Well, today we had 12 players with draw. And yet, we've got the number two and the number four seed throwing big numbers, playing world-class stuff. World-class stuff. World-class finish from Christoph Ratajski. Stops the rock with a 170. It's only his second leg, but could it be the start of something special? Swoop from the Polish Eagle to pick up the big fish. Is it the start 46. of something? He hasn't followed it up with anything much. 100. Just trying to calm himself down. Ratajski in the background there. Just saw a wave of the hands. Just gather yourself, Crystal. 140. He needs to gather another six legs if he's going to maintain that perfect record in finals. 125. has not been beyond the last 16 of any big TV tournament. And yet... He's been so good. He's up to 23 in the world. Imagine where he's going to be if he has a good Grand Prix or a Slam or a World Championship. Well, the Pro Tour Order of Merit is a one-year rolling Order of Merit system based on these Pro Tour events, which are the Players' Championships and the European Tour. And there are only, what, seven men that have over £100,000 on it. And these two are high up in it. Fifth and third. And with White losing in the first round today. 135. Price has a potential to close the gap, although Ratajski is closing the gap in this final. Or is he? Or is he? He is. 15 dart hold. Backs up that break for Christoph Ratajski. Price needs to find a big leg just to assert himself again in this one. You cannot rely on Christoph Ratajski going off the boil for a leg or two because we know Christoph Ratajski has thrown at a 96-97 average all year in everything. It is astonishing levels of consistency. That puts him on a par with the likes of Glenn Durham. It's not that far behind Gerwin Price himself, who's averaging 98 for the year. Well, yeah, for the tournament, Price is around... His yearly average, 100. Ratajski is actually higher for today, 99.25 going into this final. Just shows the standard, the relentlessness, the ruthlessness of Ratajski. 138. Yeah, we mentioned, we had a little chuckle earlier on, he's only managed 218. It's a tally which he hasn't added to yet in this final. But he's still managed to post 100. near a three-figure average across six matches. Is he going the 14s route? Now it's double 11. 102. Well, he's had the 170. How big would this be? Not going to happen. Price has a choice to make here. 97. Does he attack? Does he split? He attacks. Two attacking. Double four. 18. And Gerwin Price, he might find himself in some danger here. He's finding a way back. Christoph Ratajski was way back, but now he is right in the rear view mirror of Gerwin Price. The deficit reduced to just a couple of legs and Ratajski throwing to reduce it even further. 84. If this was last year before we ings extended the format, like we did in the European Tour, Price would have chalked up the title, won it 6-1 with an average over 100, and we'd all be patting him on the back right now saying, fabulous day, Gezi. But the slightly extended format just allows for things like this to happen. Remember Dave Chisnell, Glenn Durant, the very first weekend of the year? Chizzy was romping it. And then Duzza who hit a 170 
battled 96. all the way back and nearly turned it round. We've got a big, big major tournament around the corner in this very 96. complex. Yeah. It's very conceivable that the players in this final might not play as many legs in that as they have in this 43. single match. <laughs> Ratajski. Fair play, because he's not given up at all, has he, in this game. He's 18. kept on working, kept on grafting and grinding. He did this earlier on against Rob Cross, the only man to force a last leg decided with Christoph Ratajski. 140. Well, his eyes were fixed on every single dart that Price threw there. Oh, he can't force an opportunity to finish in that visit. He has to rely on Price missing here. Big moment. It is going to be one dart at his favourite double. And again, Gerwin Price has just clipped the wire and missed a chance to really tighten his squeeze on this final. Double eight. Double four round the board we go. Christoph Ratajski has cut the gap to one. Well, we were blessed by a incredible final last time out in the Players' Championship Series with Ian White and Mensor Sulevich going to a last leg decider. We might get another one, but a very different kind of a match. 104. Yeah, it was quite remarkable, that one, Ian White, producing a nine data. Averaging about 109 in defeats. Of 96. Who boldly claimed that he was going to go on and win the world championship. Well, Ratajski hammered him in the semifinals. 100. Mensah also said that among the best players in the world this year, Ian White, himself, Peter Wright, and Gerwin Price. 85. 85 off, not enough to leave a finish. Ratajski has an opportunity to leave one, but that hurts him. And he's not going to do it. And Price, 140. 45. That is the number going round his head right now, over and over. Ton 40, ton 40, ton 40. He's not going to get it. 60. He only gets 60. Well, the 180 would put the cat among the pigeons. He picks his moments, doesn't he? That is his third <laughs> of the day. Remarkable from Ratajski. Now, that's tricky. He could have thought about a couple of balls here. He's persevering, and perhaps he should have looked at the bullseye. 88. He's thrown three 180s all day, but that one in the final might just help him level. Double nine. Oh, ho, 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 it's the poles turn to roar. And Gerwin Price punches that desk in frustration at the back of the Gigante booth there, told to calm down by the mark. I mean, look, he's done it after the leg's been called. He's not trying to distract his opponent, but evidently Price... He's fuming. Darting drama here in Dublin. We don't have to wait for the bright lights and the big stage to get it. 99. Boiling over in one of these floor events. And Gerwin Price has been reeled back in by Christoph Ratajski, who, let's not forget, trailed this match 6 1. He's won five consecutive legs. And now, well, He's the master of his own destiny in this final. He has the darts. 140. Two of the last three legs. 140. Just a ton 40. A little pause there. I wasn't sure. He was ready to roar, wasn't he? And then he saw it wasn't the 180 and thought, oh, better not. Well, he's not stopped him before. Another. 135. Christoph Ratajski might be about to go into the lead for the first time since he was pegged back at one all. Well, all sorts could happen in this next exchange. Is it 127 and effectively the game? The 
bull 91. miss. And now Price has a chance to hit back with a 170. But he won't. And Ratajski leaves the 36. 58. What a miss that turned out to be. Double 18. The Polish Eagle to go 7 6 up. He's missed by miles. 18. And he's missed again. Well, Price will look at 18s here. Well, he switched and he adjusted too far, which means Ratajski will have the chance to lead this final for the first time since 18. the first leg. Game Double spot. nine yeah. is there. And Christoph Ratajski, who lost six legs in a row, has just won six in a row against the world number six. 140. And the perfect record in senior PDC finals. It may well continue from the most unlikely of positions. 85. One hundred. Well, we have seen some quite incredible matches on the Pro Tour in 2019. We've seen some dramatic finals, but I'm not sure we've seen a, a great escape of this magnitude. It's not completed yet. One hundred and four. And if Price can just find a way of stopping the rot then maybe he could turn it round in the last leg decider. Both men have had their little bits of fortune along the way to get here. 99. Treble seven. Double top. Seven, seven. Oh, wow. Now, he's walked straight past him there. Ratajski, well, he's got a smirk on his face, which suggests that he thinks the whole thing is hilarious. Gerwin Price is either so in the zone or just does not want to be friends. What do you make of that? I love it. 100. You don't have to be everybody's best mate. 100. 100. I mean, he's punched everything else down there, Gerwin Price, <laughs> except his opponent's fist. One hundred and forty. Clashes of styles, clashes of characters. That's what makes sport. And we could ha not have two more different characters here. Ninety-five. Is a real, what a contest! It is a real fight of a final, isn't it? And it's gone right down to the final round. Who can land the knockout blow? 100. Ratajski is first to a checkout. Should look at the ball. 133. And a mistake. Of the maths could cost Gerwin Price here. There will be no showboating from Ratajski. He's not going to play 99. that game. No going for big bullseye checkouts to win it. He just wants to get to a double that he likes. 99. Has never lost a final in the PDC. Played six of them, won six of them. Is he about to make it seven out of seven? 46. He's missed the chance to do so. Did Gerwin Price think he was going to get this opportunity? Now that he's got it, can he take it? Double top. Come on! And Price and the man. picks up another Whoa. title, takes his tally to eight. Yeah. It was a little bit frosty down there from the Iceman. But he oh. roars loudest in the end. Gerwin Price defeats Christoph Ratajski 8-7, inflicts the, fir the Poles' first ever defeat in a PDC final. Gerwin Price, well, it was a little bit frosty, wasn't it? A little bit tasty down there. Both players seem to have departed the scene and are not quite sure whether we are going to get an interview or not. So I'll sign off by saying Gerwin Price defeats Christoph Ratajski 8-7,
and wins players championship 27 we may or may not hear from him but we will be back tomorrow with pc 28 many of the big names back in action and michael van gerwin could well be part of the tournament but gerwin price will be looking for a double here in dublin